I'm talking today about the rise and fall of Derek Filderbrandt, a talented and passionate MLA, politician, who has got himself into all kinds of trouble the last year. Of course, we had the example of the Airbnb, where he was renting out a taxpayer-funded apartment to make money for himself, that he was charged and found guilty of backing his pickup truck into a neighbor's vehicle and then driving off. He was fined $3,000 today for illegal hunting. Now, he left the UCP, United Conservative Party Caucus, voluntarily last year to get his legal issues straightened out. But today, Jason Kenney, the leader of the UCP, said that Filterbrand will not be invited back into the caucus and he will not be allowed to run for the UCP in the next provincial election a year from now. This has implications for the whole UCP party and the caucus because the leader, Jason Kenney, is making it very clear he has a very strong and rigorous vetting process that will affect not just those who are entering politics for the first time, but sitting MLAs. He is telling everybody that he is not putting loyalty first, that if people behave like Derek Filterbrand, people who are a personal friend of his, like Derek Filterbrand, who have been very loyal to him, like Derek Filterbrand, he will cut them loose. It's just a year away from the next election. So Kenny is making it very crystal clear to the world and to his own party. He has standards, and his party and his caucus and his potential candidates had better meet that standard. I'm Graham Thompson with the Edmonton Journal.